things that are spoke of and five of them has already happened perfectly right on like Germany and, and Italy and all the wars and the national things tell them speak to me on those things. But they happened just exactly the way he said they'd happen. Yeah. How Mussolini would go to Ethiopia and Ethiopia would fall at his step and then how did he come to a disgrace and be spit on by his own people and disgrace hung upside down with that prostitute that he lived with on the street. How that the Americans would go to war with Germany to take an awful beating at a place called the Great Line where there would be concrete fortified and there, I believe it's called the Siegfried Line and uh, there's one called Magna, I believe that was the French, was that right? And the Siegfried Line was the German Line. And the Lord let me see that 11 years before it was built. Yeah. And they never would admit getting a beating on it, the Americans wouldn't, though they almost sunk the complete army. When they went in there, the Germans had their guns just trained right out on that fleet and let it get right in there and almost sunk it. I've seen that 11 years before the line was ever, ever foundation was ever poured for it or anything, the Siegfried Line. Under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, I said, now there's going to be three great isms, which is now in existence. One of them is in Rome, which is, is uh, uh, fascism. And one of them is in Germany, which is Nazi, is Nazism. And the other one is in Russia, which is communism. I said, those three great isms is the unclean spirit that went out of the mouth uh, of the false prophet and the dragons and so forth that will unite themselves together speaking things that they should not and they'll all meet at one another until they'll finally wind up in one ism and uh, predict that that will be communism and communism will burn the Vatican City and I said just before the end time comes I remember I Russia Watch Russia, the king of the north. Watch Russia, king of the north. Watch Russia, king of the north. How many heard me say this? Way that over, over. The old timers you see back in the early part of the church. Just stand there and wave it over and over. Watch Russia, the king of the north. See what he would do. Now the fifth thing. Science will progress in such a way until they will make a car that will not have to be guided by a steering wheel. And the cars will continue to be shaped like an egg until the consummation, the end time. I've seen an American family going down the road in a broad way, riding in a car with their backs turned towards where the wheel should be, look like they were playing checkers or cards. And we got it. Don't television? Popper science? Mechanics, brother, all have it. We got the car. It's controlled by remote control by by radar. You won't even have to have any steering wheel in it. You set your dial like this, like you dial your phone, your car takes you right on to it. Can't wreck it or nothing. Your other car's the magnet, keeps the rest of them away from you. Hmm? They got it. Oh my. Think of it. Predicted thirty years before it happened. Now, that brings us then to the election of President Kennedy. And this car coming on the, on the scene, bringing five things out of the seven, and it's happened exactly. Now, I predicted and said I saw a great woman stand up, beautiful looking, dressed in real highly royal like purple. And I got little princess down here. She was a great ruler in the United States, perhaps the Catholic Church. A woman, some woman, I don't know it'll be the Catholic Church. I don't know, I can't say the only thing I've seen, I've seen a woman, that was all. But this is a woman's nation. This nation is number 13 in prophecy. She's got 13 stripes, 13 stars, she started with 13 continents, 13, 13, everything, 13 appears. Right on down, 13 stars, on her silver dollar, now everything's a 13. It's number 13 that appears in the 13th chapter of Revelation. Completely 13. Everything is woman, 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 right on down. She's stuck over all the offices. She's stuck over Hollywood. She's stuck over the nations. She's stuck over the offices. She's stuck over everything there is. Equal rights to the man, votes for the man, cusses like a man, drinks like a man, anything else. And just bait for the Catholic Church for the worship of a woman. Amen. They're already worshiping a woman anyhow. Amen. She's the best. Uh, immoral woman is the best bait the devil ever had. Yeah. She's worse than all the bar rooms that ever was. She can send more souls to hell than all the bar rooms in the country. That's right. A good woman is a jewel in a man's crown. 
to a woman's nation. What she going to add? A woman god or a goddess. Now, then after that, I turned and looked. And I saw this in the United States burning like a smolder. Rocks had been blown up. And it was burning like a, a heap of fire and logs or something that just set it afire and looked as far as I could see, and she had been blown up. And then the vision left me. Something. I've seen tens of thousands of them, and many of you are witnessed, and not one of them has ever failed. And when God says anything, I don't, if he would say tonight, go to the National Cemetery for, I'm going to raise up George Washington in the morning. I'd invite the whole world. Come watch it. Yes. It's going to happen. Amen. God's word can't fail. He's never failed and he can't fail. There's one thing God can't do and that's fail. He cannot fail and God is his word. <laughs> Thank you.